I'm not off the grid. But I do like, I've always liked tinkering with making my own power. So I thought, I've, I've never had anything hooked up permanently. So I thought I would try something a little more permanent. So I got eight of these panels. They're 250 watts a piece. Those two are in series, 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 and series. And all four of them are hooked to in parallel to create uh, their, since there's 250 watts, I got uh, 2,000 watts of uh, solar. So let me show you what's going on downstairs. So here, uh, I have mounted a uh, 3,000 watt grow watt uh, inverter charger. It's just mounted on a uh, all three eighth uh, plywood or chipboard OSD. So anyway, I got four gauge wire coming in from the solar panels, coming up to the uh, circuit breaker. This is a uh, 60 amp, I believe, 60 or 80, I can't read it. And anyway, the plus and minus from the solar comes in and comes back out and comes right in and it's easily marked inside for hookup, plus and minus. And then we come back out with I'm still using the four gauge plus and minus. Come back out. I actually have this loop looped around here and it comes back out with the four gauge right down to the uh, plus and minus bus bars which has the more 4 gauge up to the 175 amp uh, Anderson connection and these are two 12 volt battery packs that uh, you that you can see in another video where I built one of them and I've, I've series the two together with a uh, series cable that I got off of, I think, EvoBattery.com and uh, that, so now it makes it a 24 volt system. So this is the GrowWatt 3000 uh, in char charger inverter and uh, GrowWatt makes, I think, two of them a 48 volt and a 24 volt uh, in a 3000. So with this I uh, come out of here with a 12 gauge solid solid wire into a, a, a breaker box with a, a two gang outlet and this here goes to the kitchen and then this one goes to one of our bedrooms the master bedroom and this goes to the lamp over here so with this going to the kitchen it's uh, kind of tucked away behind the refrigerator it uh, uh, also runs the refrigerator, microwave, uh, a lamp in the living room, uh, 
and uh, also the coffee pot, microwave, and the teapot, and the toaster, and four lamps. So this has really worked uh, for several months. I have had this hooked up as my first more permanent uh, energy power that I've created and it's worked really good uh, there's only the we've never lost uh, the grid so it's never shut off and with the solar panels it stays you know it's probably gotten down to 30 percent I think uh, this will go back to the grid if you'll if you'll notice there's a telephone pole right there that it will go back to the, the grid if uh, I get down to 24 volts I think it should uh, changes over and the grid is right here plugged right into the wall uh, so it hasn't uh, other than maybe charging up the batteries when I first got it to learn how all this works I probably had it on the grid uh, twice and and I've been running it for since last fall when it started getting cold I had it all finally got it all completed and so if you notice this little laptop sitting over here I have uh, solar assist on this little laptop which I like really well and it's running off of the orange pie the orange pie gets its power from my batteries too this is a, uh, a little uh, DC to DC converter which uh, it knocks it down from 24 volts to 5 volts 3 amps and that runs that runs the uh, orange pie and the uh, this of course this monitor here it, I'm on, this is only a monitor with a with a keyboard and a, it's an old laptop I got it and uh, I'm just using the monitor and then here's my keyboard and my and my mouse over here so that the monitor actually runs off 12 volts which here is a buck converter DC to DC from 24 to 13 volts and it runs that uh, monitor plus it runs uh, the uh, solar heater that's outside it turns on when the solar heater turns on there's a couple of uh, or a plug outside then when the heater kick, kicks in it just comes on automatically so I've been having fun with this it's been it's been a uh, a lot of fun with this this job it didn't really take very long and uh, I am going to change this instead of two 12 volt uh, battery battery shifting series uh, I'm going to change it to one 24 volt and uh, because what happens, what I don't, what I really don't care, f what I don't like is annoying, is this battery and this battery, they're in a series, and sometimes they charge at a different rate. So one of them is uh, at full charge, and the other one is about as much as 15% or more below the other one. So what happens is the BMS 
uh, shuts off charging in this one but it also shuts off all charging so this one doesn't get to charge up the last 15 percent and so over time uh, they'll catch up with each other however once they get caught up it, it's only a few days and they're back the way they were and it might be this one that's low and then this one was, is high again and to me that was kind of annoying even though it, it still works but I'm going to make one complete battery system here and we'll have that coming up in a video with a, with a new box and all the batteries uh, hooked up. So, overall I've been uh, having a lot of fun with this new system. It's, it's, uh, it's actually saved me some money and uh, I, I know that every time I brew my coffee or turn the microwave on it's for it's for free that that's where uh, that's where a lot of the fun is if you think you might be interested in where these came from I'll leave some uh, affiliate links uh, down below and you can go check them out so that's all I have to say for now I hope you enjoyed this little short video and uh, give me a thumbs up and maybe hit the sub sub subscribe button so see you later be safe have fun mm -hmm.